Hi everyone, my name is Alex and I would like to show you how to set up beam mining using the Stratum protocol. To get started what I need is a browser with two pages open. One is the beam website, beam.mw, and the other one is the mining guide which is located in beam documentation under mining beam section mining guide. So in addition to that I will need an empty notepad so I can record all the commands and keys that I generate in the process and a new empty folder on my machine like this one which I call demo. So let's get started. First let's examine the diagram which appears in the documentation to understand how our architecture will, will work out. We're going to need one beam node which will connect to the network in our case testnet 4 and we will also have a minor client, which in my case will be run on the same machine. I have a Windows 10 with one NVIDIA 1080 Ti card, but it also can be run on a different machine with many GPUs and connect to the node via the Stratum protocol. I will also have a CLI wallet, which can be run on a separate machine to generate all the keys and collect my mining rewards. So let's start with downloading the archives and the binaries that we need. Let's go to the bin downloads page and download the three files beam wallet cli beam node and the open seal miner for windows platform i will open my downloads folder and the new folder that i have created and in the empty folder i will create three subfolders node wallet and miner. Now I will copy the binaries from the archives. The wallet files go into the wallet folder. The node files into the node folder. and the minor client, the exe and the .cl file will go into the minor folder. Now I will open the command prompt, cmd, and change directory to the wallet folder first. I will start by creating, by creating a new folder using the init command like this beamwallet.exe init I will type some password of my choice in my case it will be just 123 and the new wallet is generated and here on the screen I see my seed phrase this is the secret phrase which will be used to control the wallet so it should be secret, you shouldn't show it to anyone and store it securely. Now I will create two keys that I need to set up beam node for mining. The miner key and the owner key. To set up the miner key I will run beam wallet command again using command called export miner key. I will need an additional parameter called sub key and in my case, it will be equal to one because I'm only using one node for mining. But if you have several nodes that you want to set up for mining using different keys, you can run this command with different IDs like two or three. And each time you will get a new mining key that you will set to a different node. I will enter the password again. And this is the sub key, the secret sub key for mining that was generated. I will copy it to my notepad and I will use it later. Now I need to create an owner key. So I will run this command again, but instead of miner, I will export owner key. There is only one owner key for all your machines. So all of them can see your mining rewards.
and I will also copy this key to the notepad for future use. Now I will open another CMD and start setting up the node. I will change directory to the node folder. in which I have my node files. But before I start the node, I need to download and the certificates and the API keys for the Stratum server. And I will go to the mining guide, scroll down to this section. And here you see links to three files, the certificate file, the secret key for the certificate and the API keys file. In case of a local setup, when there is no uh, problem with the fact that somebody can intercept the communication between the miner and the node, you can just use these files or just generate any other certificate, self-signed or both, and use them. But of course, it will be a major issue when there is a mining pool and you want to connect to a mining pool and you don't want anyone to be able to intercept your communication and steal your shares. So in this case, if you're running a mining pool or you have your miners on a separate machines in a different location, you should better create proper certificate files using the documentation available online. Just Google it and uh, there are a lot of ways to create these files or buy them from providers. So I will start by downloading these files right now. And I will go back to my downloads folder again and I will just copy these files to the node folder now the stratum API keys file is just a text file that I can uh, access using any text editor and it has an API key, which is just a random string of eight, lit, uh, eight letters or more. In my case, it's just AAAA1234, and I will leave it like that. You can support several different API keys, but by just typing them on a different line, if you want, but it's not really necessary. Now that I have my keys and my certificates here, I will start by running the node. This is covered in the documentation in the section below, which lists all the parameters that I need. What I need to specify to run the node is the port on which the node will be listening on for incoming connections and peers. I need to add at least one peer from the list of testnet four peers, which is available here on the website, testnet four IPs. I will also need to specify the Stratum port, which should be different from the regular port. The Stratum secrets pass is the location of the certificate files and the API keys file that you have downloaded. And by default, it's the same folder as the node. And also I will need to provide the miner key and the owner key and the password that I have used to generate the wallet as additional parameters. So let's do that. Going back to my node folder in the CMD, I will run the beam node like this. The port will be 10,000. The peer that I select will be just a random node from the testnet for IPs, let's say this one. The stratum port, in my case, will be 10,002. And now I need to specify the mining and the owner keys. Key mine parameter is used for the miner key and I will copy it from the notepad file that I have created previously. And the owner key is specified using the key owner param.
and it's this long key here. I will also need to specify the password for the wallet using the pass parameter, minus minus pass, and it equals to one, two, three. Now what is going on right now is that the node is connected to the network and it's downloading the history of the blockchain, parsing it, verifying it, and getting updated to the latest state. Right now it's downloading the macro block, which is the compressed version of the history. And in a few seconds, it will be synchronized and we will be able to start mining. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do is open yet another CMD and change directory to the minor client folder. Here I have the B minor binary. It could be named differently at mainnet, but it doesn't matter. And for it to work, I need to pr provide three parameters, which are shown here in the section, which is called minor client, steps 13 to 15 of the, of the manual, of the step-by-step -step manual. So I need to provide the parameters for the server and the key, which in this example is the same as the one that I have downloaded from this same tutorial, AAAA1234. There is an additional parameter called minus minus device, which allows me to choose which GPUs to use for mining. But in my case, I have only one GPU, so I'm not using it. So what I'm going to do is run the beam miner with these two parameters, the server and the key. Since this is run on the same machine, the server is basically 127.0.0.1, which is the local address, local host, and the port is the stratum port that I, I have specifi specified while running the node. And the key is the same key here. Now what's happening is that the miner is connected to the node and it is starting to get jobs to mine. Now, since this is testnet 4 and the difficulty is high enough, I will probably not be able to mine a lot of blocks in this short demo. But here I see the performance of my card, which is 9.67 solutions per second. As you can see, I constantly receive new jobs here, but this is due to the fact that synchronization is not complete yet. As you can see, it's still running. If you look closer, you see that the current block is like 7,000 and something and the network is currently a little bit higher. To check what is the network status right now, I can go to the blockchain explorer, which for testnet 4 is just t4 explorer.beam.mw. And I see that the current blockchain height is 9,033 blocks and that the difficulty is upwards from 250,000 here. The latest one is 274,000 actually. So I will just wait for the synchronization to complete. My miner is already running here in a separate window. And once the synchronization completes, I will actually start mining new blocks. This is all you need to do to set up local mining. For any additional help, please refer to our Telegram channel or just read further into the manual. It has a lot more details how to set up on Linux and using different machines. We also have a better version of the CUDA miner available for download. To download it, you should just go to our GitHub page, github.com slash bmw. And in the repositories, you can see both the OpenCL miner and the CUDA miner. The CUDA miner comes with pre-built binaries here in the release section, which you can download if you run NVIDIA GPUs. It's still under development and it's less stable than the OpenCL miner, but it can give you better performance. I think this is it. We're mining. Thank you very much and goodbye.